Well, we're living in an increasingly complex and interdependent world. Uh, ICTs are now in every walk of life, whether it's work, entertainment, transport, health, education. Uh, they're pervasive, as you say. And for uh, them to work effectively, we need standards. And standards uh, that can ensure that uh, these services and products are, are efficient and that they're innovative. And since uh, most of these applications now are, are global, we need uh, international standards. And that's the business of, of ITU. So to develop standards for uh, these vertical sectors, uh, for example, in, uh, intelligent transport systems, we need to work with the transport sector. For uh, smart grids, we need to work with utilities. For e-health standards, we need to work with the, the medical sector. So we have to encourage uh, these different sectors to come and work with us in ITU. Sectors that have traditionally not uh, been working in, in ITU. So that's the challenge uh, we're facing and uh, it's extremely important that uh, we do work with them so that we develop international standards in these areas which can satisfy the businesses and communities uh, involved in these various sectors, ensuring that uh, we have interoperability so that uh, products and services produced by different uh, manufacturers and different service providers can work together and uh, also that they're um, non-discriminatory so that anyone anywhere can produce products and services to ITU standards. That we benefit then from the economies of scale uh, and that we reduce costs both for businesses and consumers and that we uh, ensure that the scarce resources such as energy is used efficiently. Of course, ITU is one of the oldest uh, international organizations in the world. We'll soon be celebrating 150 years. But it's also been recognized by Booz Allen as uh, one of the most resilient organizations because it's been able to adapt itself to a continuously changing environment. So the structure and working methods of ITU have been continuously adapted over the years and improved to satisfy the market requirements. Today, um, for the development of international standards, we have very efficient uh, working methods, very fast working methods, latest technology is used and the latest facilities so that we can develop standards extremely quickly, international standards which have outreach to 193 countries. And most of these standards, of course, are technical standards, 95% of them are technical standards that have been developed by our industry members, over 700 private sector uh, members of ITU, and uh, they produce these standards which are developed and approved by consensus. It's an opportunity for people from all over the world to come together, um, various stakeholders, government ministers, um, industry leaders, civil society, academia, can come together and exchange views, get a better understanding of each other's uh, views in an informal uh, environment, um, quite different from the, the usual uh, structured, formal uh, conference structures of we have in ITU. So it's a chance to have a more relaxed exchange and uh, lead to better understanding. What we'd like to see is this uh, exchange of views, take the opportunity to express your views because it's a chance to influence the work in ITU. Uh, we're taking advantage of this uh, week to have a meeting of uh, our Chief Technology Officers Group, which is uh, the CTOs from many of the leading uh, manufacturers and operators around the world come together and uh, give us their recommendations on uh, the strategy and priorities for ITU on the standards area. So there'll be a lot of discussions related to that during the week and uh, we'll certainly take them on board and uh, act on them.